Peace and welcome back to Site for Living. All right, so in, in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make um, sea moss gel or Irish moss gel out of Irish moss powder. Um, we've been asked a lot by our clients um, if it could be made into a gel, the powder, and we finally have a recipe for you. We've searched all over the internet, we searched YouTube, and we could not find a recipe. So we're gonna be showing you a recipe and pretty much we're probably gonna be the first ones to make it, you know? So we're excited about this. We're happy to um, pretty much provide this for anybody looking for a recipe. And if you're interested in purchasing the powder, um, you can find our website. It'll be in the um, description below. Um, and that's cypherliving.com. That's S-C-I-P-H-E-R living.com. Uh, we also have a recipe um, for the gel for the cut and sifted that we provide on our website. So we provide two different um, versions of the Irish moss gel. So... I hope you guys enjoy this video and please share this video. Thank you. Okay guys, so here we go. All right, here's the recipe. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this powder, okay? So um, I'm gonna show the ingredients and everything that you need to make it. And um, you know, we just go from there. All right, so pretty much what you need is, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. What you need two cups is I boiled I boiled this water so pretty much you boil the water you turn it turn it off you turn the burner off and you know you pour two cups of water so you need two cups of, of hot I would say hot water okay so there's your water um, you have a I have a quarter cup of um, Irish moss powder this is the powder that we're gonna be using all right I have a, a little scraper or spatula, if you will. Um, and this right here is the Nutribullet, okay? So you can pretty much use any um, high-speed blender, but today we're gonna be using the Nutribullet. We also have a Vitamix, but this is smaller, you know, for the amount that I'm gonna be, be making. So that's why I like it. And, um, and here is, the container um, for the Nutribullet, all right? So here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the powder in first. And the reason why I'm doing that with the Nutribullet because you have to pretty much turn over the container and um, put it on the Nutribullet. So I'm gonna put the powder in first. So here we go. All right, so I put the powder, put that to the side. Then you take um, the hot water, you pull the hot water in, okay? You see? And then what I'm gonna do with the um, spatula is I'm gonna make sure that all of it it's pretty much all the powder is not stuck to the bottom. Okay. All right. Okay. And it's a little messy at times, but that's okay. All right. So you take that. Okay. You take this, put this on top of the neutral bullet on the container. Okay. All right, flip it over. You may want to shake it around a little bit, shake it up just to get, you know, make sure all the powder is mixed up in there pretty good. And as, as I'm doing this, I can see that there's some powder still stuck to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and scrape it off. Okay, and like I said, I'm only doing this because 
This is the neutral bullet. You may not have to do this with, a, let's say, a Vitamix or something like that, like another mixer. I just want to make sure that it's it, that it's mixed well. Okay. So you put this on the top of here. Oops. Okay. And I'm gonna mix this up and I'll probably mix this for maybe two minutes, you know, give or take, and we'll be back, okay? Okay, so now that this is all mixed up, I'm gonna show you what this gel looks like, okay? All right, so I'll turn it over, tap it a little bit just to make sure it pretty much falls down. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Wow, look at that, y'all. That's perfect. That's like a perfect uh, consistency. You know what I mean? And I guess if you don't want it as thick, you could use a little bit less water. And if you want it a little bit thinner, you could use more water. But there it is. Perfect. This is a perfect, perfect, for us, this is a perfect consistency. Okay? So, pretty much. And because this is hot, I'm going to be using my up glove. All right? All right, so I'm going to set this aside. You want a mason jar, okay? And this is the, I'm gonna be pouring this into the mason jar, and then I'm gonna be um, pretty much setting it in the refrigerator. You want to put it um, on like a uh, pot holder, or just put something in between, you know, the container and the glass that's in your uh, refrigerator because you will crack the glass in your refrigerator. Okay. So I want you to check this out. Look at this. Perfect. And this recipe will yield you about two cups of Irish moss gel, okay? Now you only use, remember, you only use the quarter cup of the powder. So that's how much it yields. So on our website, we sell the powder about a pound, about a pound. And if you do the math, you'll see how much it yields you. All right. So I'm going to scrape the rest out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I set this aside. Excuse me. And this is the Irish moss gel. Okay, and it's very hot, so please be careful. Wear some pie holders or something like that to pick it up. So this will go into the refrigerator. Now, We've uh, made this recipe a few times um, to perfect it. So we have some gel that we already made and it's cured already. So we wanna show you what it looks like, you know, once it's solid and it's cured, okay? So here it is. This is our sea marsh gel, iris moss gel, all right? So that's, so that's it. It's pretty simple. This is a very simple recipe. Um, we hope that you guys um, get some value out of it. Um, and once again, we want you to share this video uh, with everyone um, that you know that consumes um, Irish sea moss.